command you to awaken. For Azan's breath is more than just a story. It is the history of our soul. In the earliest 20th century, C.S. Lewis, the writer of the Chronicles of Narnia, and J.R.R. Tolkien, the writer of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, used to come together for afternoon tea to discuss the nature of the universe, to explore the deep archetypal structure of our subconscious. And with it, they discovered fundamental patterns such as the feminine energy of the ring and the masculine energy of the tower and how these culminate together. For these aspects are so deeply rooted in who we are that there's way more to this than meets the eye. As we open up our imagination and we let go to the world of fantasy, to the world of sci-fi, then it does become non-fiction, for it becomes us. We allow it to create ourselves. And so, simply put, this is a gateway. This is a gateway for the mind to open itself up to a world that has been forgotten, that has been let go, as we've trapped ourselves in this low vibrational state of a somewhat boring story. But behind the scenes, it's not boring at all. It's the most exciting story we could possibly imagine. For this is the story of Earth. Welcome, my friends, and thank you for participating.